objectives in this intervention. emphasized there was a perception and accusation that the military was had intervened to try to remove from Gabe from power. We as war veterans knew the truth and we and also we are very happy that Sadak saw exactly the truth that here yeah, they were arresting the, the seizure of power, the capture of power through the state house cates of a marriage certificate of the of, of the wife of the president. That's what the, that should have been done by the police. It should have been done by the intelligence organization. But the two were infiltrated, forcing the army's hand to do what is, was essentially a police and intelligence work. And when the people turned out and they wanted to march to, to State House against Mugabe, the same military protected him. And up to now, they are protecting him. So they are doing, they are discharging their job with impeccable finesse the Zimbabwean army. They are discharging their job with impeccable finesse. The role of removing Mugabe lies in the political arena, it lies in the diplomatic arena, and I want to go further. I, President Zuma has sent his emissaries to Zimbabwe. We have been you know, trying to convince Mugabe to leave. We would want President Zuma as, President of, or, or as the chairman of SADC to speed up that process. We are also appealing to the IU to support President Zuma's efforts to make sure that you know, the, the situation in Zimbabwe doesn't get beyond what it is now in terms of turmoil. We also think that maybe the United Nations office, not perhaps at Security Council or any other level, but uh, through the good office of the United Nations sector, they support Comrade Zuma, President Zuma of South Africa, to make sure that Mugabe leaves office sooner rather than later. The country, the country needs a clean start. It needs to be spared the turmoil of, 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 of further political street activism. It needs to be spared uh, the anxiety, you know, which the people, uh, the population is feeling right now. And the only way, the only one way it can be done is from Gabe to vacate his <coughs> office immediately. And I hope that 37 years into rule, he doesn't want any more, any other 37 minutes further in his rule. Well, you know, we are. We, I, I, I said it earlier about when you talked about Chinamasa. We are not a political party. We are a political pressure group. There is a place called the Chibuku House just behind here. That's where Emerson Mnangagwa's party is. I think you know the, best, the question is best directed there. Does, Thank you, uh, you. does President Mugabe, as he still is, have the constitutional right to dissolve parliament, assuming he does not? He do, uh, the, 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 the laws of Zimbabwe are very clear. The, the constitution was, was crafted in a very clever manner, and it's, a, it's been tested right now. There is no authority residing in one person to dissolve parliament. He simply doesn't have that. And I wish my, my, my wife, who was the vice chairperson of COPAC during that process, was here. She could have answered to you citing the relevant uh, phrases. He has absolutely none of that power. So when do you expect impeachment to go through then? That is the role of the parliamentarians. That's why we as war veterans, we are canvassing to the various chairmen. We have instructed our chairman, including you, he is from the provinces, to approach the clutch of MPs in his area to take the, to bring them to parliament, to, to lobby them, to bring them to parliament tomorrow. We are also appealing the chairman of ZANU to get their hold of their MPs and equally appealing to the MDC to bring their class. in parliament.